Hey everyone, in today's lecture, we are going to dive into the fascinating world of discrete time complex exponential signals. The discrete time complex exponential signal can be expressed as x of n is equal to a to the power n into e to the power g omega naught n plus theta. Okay, so we know that we can write e to the power g into omega naught n plus theta is equal to what? This is equal to cos of omega naught n plus theta and plus j sine omega naught n plus theta. Okay, so this is equivalent to this expression, right? So just replace this particular part with this. So x of n will become what? x of n will become this is equal to a to the power n into cos omega naught n plus theta plus j into sine omega naught n plus theta okay now this will become what a to the power n into cos of omega naught n plus theta plus j into a to the power n sine omega naught n plus theta fine so what is this this j means this particular portion is what this is what an imaginary part so we can denote it as x i of n and this is what a real part so x r n fine so you can write like x of n is equal to x r of n plus x i that is imaginary part x i of n right so where this particular thing is what j into this okay so this is what imaginary part imaginary part of x of n right and this part is what the real part okay so in complex exponential signal this is what a real part of x of n a real part of x of n and this portion which is associated with this j that is why we are calling it as what imaginary part of x of n fine so this much is clear so we got two part one is real part one is imaginary part right so real part xr of n is equal to what e to the power n into cos omega naught n plus theta and x i of n is equal to what a to the power n into sine omega naught n plus theta right so hope this thing is clear to you now so when we look at the real part of x of n we will see a cosinusoid sequence that is either exponentially increases or decreasing depend on the value of this a right so let's see a graph for this which is basically a real part of x of n and then we'll see the graph for imaginary part of x of n okay so let's start fine so let's see the real part first so what is the expression for the real part this one right a to the power n cos cos of omega naught n plus theta right so hey the this theta is what a phase shift so consider like there is no phase shift okay so theta is equal to zero so basically 
then your equation will become what x r of n is equal to a to the power n cos omega naught n right so basically in this case when a falls between 0 to 1 then what will happen then what will happen if it is between 0 and 1 we will have an exponentially decreasing cosinusoid sequence this is cosinusoid sequence but what is the behavior it is exponentially decreasing right so when a is between 0 to 1 it means we will get what exponentially decreasing cosinusoid sequence i hope this is clear to you fine let's see the next graph now suppose a is what greater than 1 so if a is greater than 1 we will have an exponentially increasing cosinusoid sequence okay so this if you see this is what cosinusoid sequence but exponentially increasing okay this is what exponentially increasing clear see increasing like this okay so hope this is clear to you so this is what for the real part now let's go to the imaginary part fine so what is the equation for imaginary part so if you see the equation for imaginary part is what x i of n is equal to a to the power n into sine of omega naught n plus theta right so same considered like theta is equal to what zero right theta is equal to zero then in this case also what will happen if the value of a falls between zero and one means 0 to 1 then what will happen we will have an exponentially decreasing sinusoidal sequence so if you see this this is what exponentially decreasing sinusoidal sequence fine now if the value of a is what greater than 1 then what will happen if you see this it is increasing right so what will happen in this case if the value of a is greater than 1 we will have an exponentially increasing sinusoidal sequence so if you see this is exponentially what increasing sinusoidal sequence right if the value of a is greater than 1 so this is this two graphs is related to what imaginary part and the last two was for what it was for real part so hope this is clear to you fine so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more awesome content if you have any questions or concerns feel free to ask in the comment section below thanks so much for watching